How's it going everyone? Today taking another look at a Play Arts Kai figure. This time we're looking at the Marvel variant line and looking at the Doctor Strange figure. Really great piece. I'm not a huge Doctor Strange fan, but um, I really do like this design and look for um, our good old Doctor Stephen Strange. So before we take a look at the figure, let's take a look at the box. The box has the new um, art design that is part of the um, the revamping of the variant line and it looks good it is designed by Hitoshi Kondo and it does have the Square Enix uh, Play Arts Kai hologram sticker right there for authenticity sake you got the uh, logo up at the top it is a window box so open up the flap you get to see where the figure would be with all the accessory pieces you get a nice little write-up on the other side which is the same write-up for the Marvel Universe that we saw with the Black Panther. But then we also get a nice bio of Doctor Strange, which let's see if I can um, get all of here. So you can read it. Hopefully you can read it. Um, And I really do like these um, write-ups because they give you a little bit of character description, but also the fact that they um, include the designer's um, thought process of why he designed it the way he did. Right on the back of the box, you get a nice little kind of comic book style um, picks and such. And then machine stamp on the bottom, just again for another check mark on the authenticity list. All right. So, Doctor Strange here. <coughs> Great figure, excuse me. Comes with a ton of accessories, which is really nice. And um, does come with the Play Arts Kai um, display stage, which isn't great, but for this figure, it, it does work really nicely. He does stand roughly um, a little over 10 inches tall. So, he's got some height to him. And overall looks good. The head sculpt looks good. The the paint, I haven't really seen a, any sloppy, you know, paint anywhere on this guy. The design of the the costume is great. The uh, you know the the texturing and such. The eye of Agamotto. The even the cape itself. You could even um, include that as an extra accessory piece because it does have some functionality, which we'll get into a little bit later. You got the translucent kind of orange armor bits on the for the gauntlets. I mean, all the way around the boots, everything. All right, so accessories comes with quite a bit. He does come with out of the box uh, two closed fist hands. So there they are. Some decent paint and design. Not groundbreaking, but looks good. And then he comes with a couple of other pairs of hands, which let's see if I can get to. There's one where it's a kind of open stylized hand. Kind of looks like he has claws. Whoop. That looks good. Now, seeing Doctor Strange here, really kind of in the design, kind of wish that we'd get a Mandarin or some more villains. But he does have his standard uh, magical um, casting hands. Don't mess with the bowl. You get the horns. Those look good. And then he's got another hand only for his um, right, though, unfortunately. You don't get a pair of him, like, casting or shooting a spell. And then he does have some kind of a greenish, translucent spell casting hands or astral projected hands. However you want to classify them. Still has the same kind of detailed that we got with the um, the other ones. And I mentioned the 
kind of the Mandarin just because you can kind of see like it looks like he's got rings and dragon. I don't, I don't know. I'm just going off of something. All right. And he also comes with a couple effect pieces. These two. So one for each of his hands here of casting a spell. And it's unique how you have to utilize these. You have to pop the hand off, slide this onto the um, the wrist joint, and then manipulate the hand back in here and then pop it back on. It's not hard. It just takes a little bit of finagling. And then he wouldn't be complete if he didn't have his magical circles, which can only be used with these. I'm pretty sure. There's, they're actually got some an actual mold to an actual hand and yeah they're only good with these and we'll get into that a little bit later all right let's take a look at his articulation again typical articulation with the player it's kai figure double ball peg of the the head i'm not going to spend too much time on it he does have a nice range of motion he does have a point a beard wow um but go side to side he does have a ball peg for the neck the bottom neck so you get more range of motion not bad it does get a little bit cumbers cumbersome if you kind of move it and this gets off centered and because of the collar kind of gets kind of a pain to get it back to the center um, as far as his arms they can um it's a different design it's on a ball joint which is weird as you can see, it plugs into the chest, which seems odd. It seems like it will wear down. There's no ratchet there. Uh, but you have a full range of motion. Yes, this is in the way, and it's a hard plastic, so... But you can manipulate his arms out to about there. Does have a upper bicep swivel. Standard ball hinge for the, um, the elbow, wrist, and ankles. So they swivel at the top and the bottom. You get a nice 90 degree angle. And they're not too ugly. I do like the fact that the color matches the costume. So that's nice. And then the the ball hinge down here does match the glove since there's black in there. So, so nice. Touch there. As far as the chest, ball peg. A little loose because of the weight of the cape. But you do have a full range of motion. And then same thing with the waist. So the upper body and the waist both have the ball hinge. Would have been kind of nice in this case to actually have a ratchet there. Just to compensate for the weight. Get one click so it won't go anywhere. Instead of it kind of bouncing back. Um, oh well. Floating crotch piece. He's got two floating crotch pieces. He's got this piece right here. And he's actually got another piece right in here that can be moved around which is kind of odd but you can only go about to so far going forward because of this um, and I don't know how much of that's hindering can't go too far out either because of this piece and then you also got the thigh swivel at the hip but you also have a thigh an actual cut joint in the thigh too and it's not that bad. It doesn't break up the scope unless you look at it from the side where it actually has a seam. Double jointed knees. Typical play arts kind knees. It's, it is what it is. And again, same um, hinge for the um, ankle. You can manipulate it around to get the ankle rocker. Then it's got a toe hinge in his foot there. So full range of motion with this guy. Um, exactly what you expect all right as far as this cape is concerned now i do think that maybe they could have tried a wire cape again like they did with the dc variant uh superman and uh, supergirl uh but oh well now the cape i get the fact that it doesn't line up with this and that in a way is unfortunate but that's fine with me um i don't i mean I'm okay with it, but I do like the fact that you can 
take the cape completely off and you can reverse it or you can just put it onto this side reverse it on this side do whatever you want there's you know combinations that you can do with the cape which is really cool i do like that i do like the overall shade that they did for the cape um the gold trim i mean looking at it you know it's dr strange's cape the only downside to what they did was instead of let's see if i feature this can you see it there you go you can see how it's plugged into the body it's just a ratcheted ball hinge so the one end's plugged into the body into the back and then the other one is just plugged into the cape sometimes they plug it into a block of plastic which is weird and such so this is the old school design which i do like but the weight of the cape is not enough to secure it on that ball hinge so sometimes it just falls right off and that that's a nuisance and then also trying to manipulate it to one side like so it doesn't really hold its pose and then all of a sudden you, you're, you're gonna break the sculpt because of the, the, the flap right there but still um, could have been a little bit better but again you can have it however you want they have an actual so you know which side's which, an A and a B, but it is made to um, be switched around, which is a cool idea. I just think it wasn't properly executed. All right, now let's um, put on some of his effect pieces, which is really cool, but a pain in the butt because of the fact that it's very difficult to plug this, these, or the hands into these. And it's in a way almost just friction that's keeping it on. So there you have it. But the slightest kind of manipulation, it falls off. Um, now I'm sure maybe I'm not pushing in all the way that you could, but I really don't want to start damaging the fingers. Um, it would have been kind of nice if it's worked out just a little bit better. But as you can see, that's how it, how they kind of plug in. And if you want, you can utilize these pieces by just sticking that in there. And then again, getting that in there and then you have this piece and you can just manipulate it around whatever you want so I do like that I do like the fact that he does come with the circles I would rather him have these and you know I have to try and make it work um, a little bit better than not to have them at all so but overall I think it's a good piece just a little bit of just a little bit of negative um, stuff to it, but definitely recommend it. Um, again, though, going off of the Square Enix website, $150 for this guy. Is it worth it? Um, at that price, he comes with more stuff than the Black Panther. But again, it's a, it's a high price. So, but that just seems to be the standard right now for Square Enix products or as, as far as the player's Kai line is concerned, unless it's a, a, a higher, you know, designer type of um, line. So it's, it's your call. If you can find them for cheap, again, like I said, I would pick them up. I do recommend them, though. I think he looks good in the line. And um, especially when you put them next to, like, the rest of the uh, Marvel variants, like Thor, Captain America, Black Panther, Iron Man, and all that. Um, he fits in really nicely. So um, that's it for Doctor Strange. Thanks for watching, guys. I really do appreciate it. Um, stay tuned for more. Take care. Don't forget, if you haven't subscribed or liked the video, uh, please do so um, if, you, if you so choose to. And that's it. Thanks.